Welcome back. We are here looking at the U.S. tech stocks. This is going to be my daily forecast for Friday, October 29, 2020. If you'd like to support this channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. We just launched our newest trading signals today uh, on Patreon. You're welcome to go and check that out if you want to receive um, trading signals uh, for stocks, commodities, uh, and so on and so on. So we'll start out by looking at uh, uh, Netflix. Well, let's just say this was an absolute horrible day for the stock market and especially the tech stocks. Probably one of the reasons why m many of these tech stocks were so badly hit is because they are so overvalued at this point. Um, if you take, for example, Apple, we can see that, that um, we have a daily here. Sorry, here. So we can see that this was basically the bottom of the, the coronavirus. And Apple has, to the top here, gained 131%. We are up at this point today, 102% in only a matter of, what, four or five months? In a pandemic, in a recession, in the, an economy that is doing extremely badly and so on. So most of these companies, even though they have good earnings. Their stocks are really, really, really overvalued. So these are the favorite stocks on Wall Street. So people buy them, but because people are buying them at such a massive rate, they are also very, very overvalued. The PE ratio for most of these stocks are is basically ridiculous. So just keep that in mind that they can fall as every other stock uh, basically in the stock market can fall and they can fall aggressively five four and even seven percent at some point at some point uh, but if you look at every one of them uh, we can see that um, netflix is trading at a high of 575 and is trading at a low at around around here 469 so down around 470 so this is basically the room that Facebook has been travel, uh, trading in in the last few months, basically, since uh, mid-July until the end of October. We have been uh, up to this high nearly three times and then basically been to these lows several times. So at this moment, we're trading underneath a 100 moving average. This is uh, not a very um, positive candlestick that we have uh, we've seen here today. We could see this market, this um, stock go lower. We could go and retest these lows. That would also coincide with the 150 moving average that is traveling this way, which will act as support. So we may see this market go lower. Technical indicators for for Netflix are mixed. MACD is looking really negative. The same goes for the RSI. Well, it's not fairly flat, but it is oversold at this point. Uh, the CCI is looking promising. The stochastic was looking promising and now is basically turning around. And the bullish bound, we're basically at the bottom of the bullish bound. So if we break lower from here, we'll most definitely um, find significant support at this price uh, level. And if we break above the 100 moving average, then we have the 50 moving average above acting as resistant. If we break that, then there's basically nothing that prevents us from going to these highs. At this point, we need clear signs that the market is about to go higher. There is not going to be any stimulus before the election. There probably won't be any stimulus for several months, probably until we, um, we um, let clear, get the clear indication who will win the election and, and so on and so on. It may well be until February next year that we'll see additional stimulus so that is going to be a rocky ride for for the stock market as a whole so we look at microsoft microsoft fell four percent we are basically not at the end of the session yet but we are trying trading well underneath the 50 moving average we are we have been trading at a high of 232 and a very low at 100 and um, 196 but or not we get down to those levels, I doubt it because we have the 150 uh, moving average just above and that will act as significant um, support. 
Technical indicators for this uh, stock are very bearish at this point. Stochastic, neither MACD is looking really uh, bearish. The same goes the RSI, same goes the CCI. Stochastic is, well, we can't be any more bearish than this. But the bullish band, we are basically hidden at the bottom of the bullish band. So we may have a pullback towards the 100 moving average before we go lower. Um, that would basically mean that would go closer to this 20 moving average before going lower. Um, we have to see. Um, I'm not a seller in any of these stocks. Uh, these basically are growth stocks that will grow within the time. And the point with the all of these stocks is just to buy them at a discount. When they fall, you basically get the opportunity to buy them at a cheaper price because they will continue growing. So if we look at Apple, we can see that Apple is trading up underneath the 40 exponential moving average. We are at this point heading almost certainly to the 100 moving average at $107. We are at 112 now, so minus five dollars. That is that is quite possible. We're down three percent today. Um, this is some basic stock that fell least uh, when the Nasdaq and most of the stocks basically fell only. Um, um, well, uh, basically a month ago or more than a month ago, two months ago. If you look at the technical indicators, they are all looking quite bearish at this point. Our MACD, the RSI, stochastic, also the, um, the, um, stochastic, the um, no, I mean CCI and the stochastic are all looking very bearish at this point. So we may fall further. We would definitely find resistance at these lows. I, I doubt it that we'll get down there. Um, at least we'll get, uh, if we come to the 100 moving average at $107, that will most likely act as significant um, support. A break above the 50 moving average opens the door to these highs of $126. If you look at Amazon, Amazon broke down quite significantly. We may at this point go and retest the 20, now the 100 moving average at $3,092. Uh, we did that um, only a few weeks ago and rallied from that point. So that is probably a good entry for a buy for this market. If you break below the 100 moving average, we open the, that opens the door to the, to the 150 moving average at 2840 uh, technical indicators have all turned around for this stock. Um, they are all bearish, every single one of them, and there is basically a lot of room to the downside. You can see that the RSI is at a 50, so we're not even close to be oversold yet. Amazon is down nearly 3% today. So we look at Tesla. Tesla is down 3.5%. We are trading underneath the 40 exponential moving average, but we have been here several times before with Tesla stock. And I doubt that we will break towards the, um, the 100 moving average. If that is the case for the stock, then be ready for all of these stocks to basically go. Um, this is one of the most, uh, most, um, most uh, popular stocks on, on Wall Street. And if, if this breaks significantly, uh, further, then that means that most of the other stocks will do the same thing. That is the uh, same for Apple and also for 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 most of these stocks. But technical indicators for uh, Tesla are looking, well, they're looking very bearish. The MACD, RSI, the CCI, Stochastic, and also Bollinger Band. We're basically at the bottom of Bollinger Band, so we may basically have a little pullback. Uh, if we break well below this level here, that opens the door to these lows here, and that is also coinciding with a 100 moving average. I doubt that we'll get down there. If we rally from here, the 50 moving average, no, 50 moving average will act as resistant. Then if we break above the 50 moving average, that opens the door for $456 uh, dollar range. So at this point, we are kind of in the middle of this range. If you look at Facebook, Facebook fell nearly 5% today. We found support at the 40 exponential moving average. This is around $267. We're trading at the 270 at the moment. 
A break below that opens the door to the 100 moving average at, at the $256. And a break above the 50 moving average opens the door to 285 um, Yes, a break below this and, and, and a rally from, from, uh, from the 100 moving average, and that is quite a good uh, position for um, a buy-in for Facebook stock. The 100 moving average has proven to be quite um, resilient or supportive. We can see what happened here. We tested it three times. We rallied every single time. And every single time we get close to it, it we basically rally again. And I'm guessing that it's going to be the same thing this time if we get to the 100 moving average. Well, compared to the technical indicators, we may see those levels because the MACD is turning around, the RSI is turning around, so is the CCI, so is the, the stochastic, and we have a lot of room to the downside in the bullish band. So most likely we will break towards the 100 moving average before we rally. So we look at Google, and Google, as I said yesterday, we were just waiting for this market to go significantly lower. Um, if we break the 100 moving average here at $1,517, then that opens the door to the four. 150 moving average here at $1,436. And then also on the right underneath, we have the 200 moving average. So there is a lot of support here. We saw what happened when we got close to the 200 moving average uh, only a few weeks ago. We rallied significantly and now we broke it down again. So a rally from here to the upside, we will find major re uh, resistance here at $1,642. And after that, we have the highs here of 1733. The technical indicators for Google are looking even dire than they did yesterday. We had the MACD is turning around, the C RSI is turning around, so the CCI, the stochastic, and also we have a lot of room to the downside to the lower part of the bullish band. So we most likely will go significantly lower. So, hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by clicking the subscribe button, click the bell button and the like button in order to see our newest videos. Good luck and thank you very much.